not there anymore. It's <laughs> gone. You can say that again. And what a year it was. It started like most, in the middle of a hockey season, in my second year playing for the Fishtown Penguins, living in northwestern Germany. But you know what they say, all good things must come to an end. So after we played our last game and said goodbye to the fans, we hopped in the car and headed for Amsterdam. I guess two years in a row makes it a tradition, right? Well, that's fine by me. After that, I hopped on a plane and headed for Krakow. It was a solo trip. I explored the city, met some new friends, and visited some chilling places. But then it was off to Iceland, where Jess and I rented a camper van and hit the road. It was total freedom. With beautiful scenic landscapes and lonely open roads your thing, drop what you're doing right now and go. No, seriously, I mean, like, stop, stop watching the video and, and book the ticket, go. It's awesome, it truly is next level. But you know we had to keep it moving. So then came summer in Toronto. We found an apartment on Craigslist, recruited my brother, and that was it. Everything needed for an epic summer. It took Reese some getting used to, but she eventually came around. If you're looking to have the time of your life in the city, I have two words for you, electric skateboard. In the city, it was something new every day. Art shows, indie car races, movies in the park, the list goes on. Every day there was something new to be explored. Later on, Jess and I took a trip to Israel. I didn't know much about Tel Aviv before going, and now it's one of my favorite cities. This year I made a mini documentary about chess and life and another about my journey to veganism, which piqued some interest in the media. Looking back, 2017 was more than a year of travel and adventure. It was a year of growth. Mind, body, and soul. So 2018, if you're listening, if you're half as good as this year was, I can't wait to meet you.